I don't know why. We back? Hell yeah. You you do fight those wolves. I need to pick up these pages. That was smooth. Oh, sorry, bird. Go back on mobile. Nice. Welcome back. We're also back after the stream just crashed. I still love and don't understand the two wolves here that trigger boss music. And it just goes back to the awkward music when you're gonna have to still fight this guy who's harder than the wolves he spawns next to. Like I said, perfect game in every conceivable way. Um, no, no, let's save up instead of buying this sword now. Very scary wolves. Yeah, mm, so scary. Oh god. No, no, you two don't fight those. Come on. There is the gorilla over here, whose quest we take. Then as we go back to camp to collect Edmund after this dungeon, we can complete that quest. And on the way back here, when the girls are following Aslan, we hand the quest back in and get the perk. Just destroying these for the loot, because we actually go up this way. Okay, I always guess wrong with that bit. And now, we're in the sometimes strangely illinear dungeon. Lucy, stop being stupid. Thank you, Stream Elements. I hadn't realised. Take the slightly longer path. Oh, hey, and it's satyr time. This away. The green bubbles enemies drop XP. Uh, no. The, 
enemies always have that little green effect when they die. I mean, yeah, I suppose technically what you said is correct, because all enemies give XP when they die. But yeah, that's just a visual thing. Which corridor room is this? Hey, level ups. Forgot those existed. Okay, good. This isn't the looped one. Or at least it isn't the one we were in before, so we're not quite looping yet. Or are we? Damn it, I can't tell. I think we might be. Yeah, it is this room again. Come on, Peter. Damn it. Oh, that's an incredible setback. Oh, right. Okay. Sorry, I thought I heard someone knocking on my door, but it was in fact just my dog. Oh, good. It isn't. It isn't the same room. Or is it? I can't tell. No, it isn't. This is a different one. Are you going to steal an Uwu redeem? Nice. Oh wait, no, it is the same. Damn it. No, and thank you for headbats. Sorry, um. And people were doing it, I did it. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> Honestly, I need to think of more <clears throat> sound alerts that are like meaningful things to have. Because like, I don't just want to add random things that don't really have any significance to me as a creator or channel or community. So I have like me saying uwu, um, 
obviously having a creeper hit is just important for my thing. And what's the what are the other ones? I know one of the ones I have is uh the fucking oh yeah, that too. And my favourite ever voice over acting. And that yeah, again, it's it, all it relevant works. things to me. I think sound alerts are being broken right now. That one just didn't play, did it? Uh, damn you, man. That's not as loud as I wanted it to be. Okay. Okay, we're fucking stuck in a loop. Yeah, what other sound redeems can anyone think of that we could have? Alright, anyway, I definitely unmuted, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Cool. Aslan's roll? Maybe. Actually, it is a very impressive roll. Meow. <laughs> hmm. But again, for everything, you've got to sort of think of a situation where it would, where it would be used as well. Oh shit, we... We've made it to the boss room. Nice. I remember yours. The only one I know of yours is that you have the pull up a chair one. <laughs> then stop looping. Huzzah! It's finally free from the curse of non-Euclidean geometry. Oh damn, we have a lot of money. If there's one good thing about the looping. Everyone's going to know about the charity, indeed. Again, health checks. Need the sloppy one? What's that? What's that mean? They should be related to me or things that make sense for the community, really. Like anything that becomes a joke or in reference. Really is fitting. It's from a dungeon boss in Final Fantasy. Ah, oh, okay. Because, like, uh, the creeper hiss is there because I play a lot of Minecraft and it's. A nice thing for people to try and prank me with. Uh, it just works is one of the other original ones I added because that's something I reference a lot and yippee. I don't know it just kind of felt right. Then there's me saying uwu 
which is cool because it's me failing to sound cute. And there's just the incredible um, screaming from a character in a Skyrim mod that I played recently. Oh fuck, we've now got to do with the Minotaurs, forgot about them existing. Can't fail the sound cute. Oh shit. Mm. Hurry up. Come back to life. Ugh, body block. Ooh. It's also really quiet and shit audio quality because I was playing the game and it had other sound in the background. cute yeah I still feel like it could be better quality and it doesn't cut off quite right because I basically said uwu then continued speaking immediately afterwards so then it sort of cuts off weirdly damn it Figured out. Ooh, okay, now is there one more? Do we kill them? Oh, good. Okay. Actually, adorable. I'm one of the first people you watch. I'm one of the first people you started watching. My goodness. Okay, thank you. I did not realise how little time you've been streaming for, Faye. In two or three months, yeah, that's... Insane, because you're like, you've already got the same amount of followers as me, haven't you? And that's very impressive. Yeah, Aslan's Cursed. Where the fuck is the shop down here? If you think he's cursed, wait till I finish the run, then put him, then show you what the high poly version of the game looks like. Makes you shit post on Twitter. Hmm. Even yeah, this means I don't really have much interesting to say, so I can't really use that strategy. <laughs> where, the, where the fuck am I going? It's Dungeon 8. Not down there. Reposting trans memes. Mm. Valid thing to do. Now, the second Minotaur boss. Yes, incredibly hard, yeah. This is still working, yeah. Now, the thing is, for me, I absolutely work best when I have chat to bounce off of. The issue is then that sort of causes is a negative feedback loop during times when there's no chat. Because, like, oh yeah, I work better when I'm speaking to chat, but then people come in, see me being awkward without chat, and leave before saying anything, reinforcing it. <laughs> 
and I'm doing pretty well. Thanks. Like, of course, nothing is going to make me stop doing my streaming, because I enjoy it either way. But, like, having people, knowing there's people here is what makes it more fun. That jar is just not reachable. Where the fuck are we? Hang on. Okay, no, 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 that's not the way. That's not the way. We stick to the way. Fuck. Oh my god, he just... That's a triple kill. You just bonk him. No, that's not the right way. <laughs> well, actually, we, well, I don't without. Well, I don't think I'd be here. Getting hundreds pretty much just me trying to keep Bell entertained. Oh. <laughs> hmm. So you weren't wasting your time, and I made some cool friends who dropped in. Luck. Oh, fuck. Huh? Honestly, like, I have no idea how I got to any of my growth before I made my Twitter account. Like, I was on, like, very slow growth from, like, I think I probably would have been stuck at around 30 followers if I hadn't got lucky. And my now good friend... Jackson, a, a fellow streamer who's actually taking a bit of a break at the moment, sort of accidentally stumbled across one of my streams and we got on really well. And then, of course, he introduced his community to me and a lot of them are also very nice people. And that's how I got to affiliate. How long have I been streaming? Um, I officially like started streaming as a consistent thing in July of 2021. When I got my first desktop. But I occasionally did, tried to do streams from my laptop before that and it never went well. Because <laughs> it was far too shit to be able to handle anything. Like, if you want to go back and see what I mean about how uh, bad my content has been for the most part, I have all of my streams from the last two years archived on my second YouTube channel. Shit, we're gonna die. Dodged it. I thought I was out of range.
you admire the consistency. No, that's probably the right thing. I, mean, I certainly have been consistent. What's that range? Slightly more than it should be. That's what it is. The first stream you watched was my yearly review? Yeah, it was. Like, possibly the worst stream for someone to come into for the first time. But, like, I've been doing those for my YouTube content every year. Because I started my YouTube a lot earlier, in, like, 2019. Archive, yes it is. And okay, we did the boss, nice. That was interesting. Uh, it's mostly a mess because I don't write down a script, so I just sort of forget most of the things I want to say. Like the only notable thing that happened in my last year of content was my original video on this game, which is still getting views somehow Bye. Damn it. Wait, no, 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 we go down to the enclave. Like, I know I say this game's music doesn't get repetitive, but the most annoying, the actual most annoying part about it is the fact that sometimes it seemingly unnecessarily cuts to a new song when you change between areas. Also, you can kill that rat. I think it's just because like the the time of day changes and it only refreshes the music to reflect that when you go between areas. Terms of who's but you found the channel. Everything should just be on my link tree. Fuck fuck that. Okay. I want Lucy to get over here. That's the hoop you had to jump. Okay, fair. I mean, reading can be different. Lucy, what are you doing? You're throwing. This is not the time to throw, Lucy. There we go. 
Now we get a talent plus two damage on a boy Pete. Hang on, what is this guy's second quest? Ah, oh, damn it, it's Cyclopses. I was really hoping he'd like the horse and his second quest is the banner instead of his last. But, like, you don't have time to route in this second quest. Do, 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 do. Wait, I also kind of drop by because I'm a trans creator and I kind of want to see some other trans creators. So, with your model and the chill streams, perfect way to end the day. Well, thank you. Those are all the things that are most important about my content. Not sure if that's what to say, not at all. It's. I also try to support other trans creators, just because, like, why wouldn't I? And, no, I I appreciate that, that's very kind. And, of course, my model wouldn't be doing its job very well if everyone didn't fall in love with it. It's expressive. Thank you. I yeah, I turned on eye tracking recently, so now you can see the madness that is how I blink. <laughs> God, pay attention. It's the heart and the clothes. Thanks. <laughs> the the um, when I do my debut, I'll actually discuss the history of my main outfit. So, no spoilers on that now. And with my new one, I've actually tweaked the expressions in Vroid Expression Editor, so it's not the default things that are really shit. Because, like, if you use the default surprised em emotion, um, if you open your mouth too wide, your teeth clip through. And I didn't like that, so I've made sure to fix everything, so I'm going to be even more expressive on my new model. You know what I have it planned? Uh, my... Debut is on July 10th. I don't actually know what time of day I'm going to start. So I just. Like at some point. But of course, that shouldn't get in the way of you streaming. Hell, you, I encourage you to stream so you can raid me. <laughs> stream so it can benefit me. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Now, do, do what you want. Don't let me affect you. Also, it's been two hours and I have not taken a single break. Oof. I mean, I might start it, like, super early just so I have more time to do stuff. The, though super early stream starts don't really work for me most of the time because, like, I live with my family and they don't know I stream. And, like, it would absolutely be a mess if they suddenly called me away to look after the dog for an hour right after I start stream. Unfortunate debut. 
Yeah, because then I'd have to switch to my IRL cam to show you all my dog. And that would kind of defeat the purpose of a VTuber debut. Damn it. God, why am I playing so shit? Bonus cute dog and cute IRL bag. <laughs> Thanks. The dog would be considered cute by people who like dogs, and I am not cute in an IRL, really. It's just the mask covers up the worst of it, but like, I'm not. And I don't want you saying, oh yes you are, because I don't want to become complacent in this version of me that I don't like. Cutin about looks about energy and personality as well. Mm, true. Try to say it often, thank you. But of course, by all means, call this me here cute, because she is. This guy's just stunning too much and it's really annoying. Games, what are you doing? I don't care. I'm just gonna need to turn up, turn off pop-up notifications from Epic Games because it just sort of randomly tells me stuff. Like right then, it just said, "Hey, the did you hear about the the Star Rail update?" And I'm like, "I don't give a shit. I don't play that game." <laughs> well, maybe I should. I don't know. Anyone who's played it, how would you rate Honkai Star Rail? Like as a turn-based game. It's fun. Hmm. Maybe I'll consider it at some point. An 8 out of 10. Oh, that's a high ranking. Because, like, I'd never really played any turn-based combat games. But then, you know, I started playing Persona at the end of last year. And I've started playing Pokemon this year. So I've 
started getting into the genre somehow. Persona's way better. <laughs> yeah, it is. Like, God, Persona 3. It's, it, I've, I've mainly been doing Persona 3 because, like, I've seen someone play Persona 5 too recently and, like, I don't feel like starting 4 right now. But, like, the combat is so fun because it's just so... It's just so snappy and... And the battle music fucking rocks. Jesus Christ, this is the worst this has ever been. That was a gacha game. Yeah, that's that's the thing I don't like. I will not engage in uh, gacha mechanics if it means I have to use real life money. And that run was completely dead. So I want to do some practice of the final battle. Which I have on my save slot. It's free to play friendly though. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I just missed a lot of attacks there. <laughs> I don't actually know what the stats were on this save that I just loaded. Okay, 7 8 Peter and 4 5 Ed. With no armor. I'm going to get the first armor for Peter just because that was an experiment. Oh shit, I left the I left the thing running, hold on. Fuck's sake, I can't right click it. Hold on a second. So I cannot reset the I cannot stop the speedrun timer because I can't right click it. Or I could just end the run. Or I could just like switch back to having right click. There we go. Yeah. Let's just listen to the nice music for a minute while I check some stuff. gonna head to sleep good night i'll probably be heading off soon as well
Anyway, just a bit of practice for the final battle. So glad I discovered this squirrel. What we have currently is what I'd hope to be a pretty standard loadout for the end of the game. But I want to investigate if what I have is actually what's good. the map occasionally changes colour. Uh, yeah that's just the that's just the game running through the day night cycle. Is there a day night yes there is it's a it's a day night cycle. Which just sort of naturally happens over time. <clears throat> and is like completely unnecessary but I love its existence. Good start, good start. Have any effect on the run? Uh, no, on a, all it does is like change a couple of enemy spawns and I think it changes how fast you get cold when you're in the wintry areas. So for the sake of a speed run it doesn't really do much but yeah, it does actually affect the game. This has some gameplay impact, yeah. And of course, it changes which music's playing. Okay, I think just like five more minutes then we go find someone to raid and end the stream. Sensible. Thank you, I do try to be. The stream's already gone on till half an hour later than I usually would. I find I'm doing that more and more with this game. What the fuck was that hitbox? doctor's appointment in the morning. Ooh, good luck with that. Uh, 
So, what perks does Peter have? Okay, I think this was our run from yesterday. We have stun. There we go. Good cycle, good cycle. Get that before it spawns. You got this, Edmund. Dammit, wasted the crypt. Okay, I can't show I know I said I'd show you um uh high poly Aslan, but because I'm stupid and didn't make a save where we can access him easily, you're gonna have to just do with um high poly everyone else. That's right, if you in the emulator there's settings to uh, basically trick the trick the console into thinking it's rendering at a high resolution meaning it renders the 3d models better it's kind of cursed for some of them but, like they very clearly weren't meant to be viewed at anything higher than the pixelation of a DS because the backgrounds don't scale, they're pixel perfect. It's pretty funny, yeah. Uh, I actually, I, I mean, it's kind of hard to show on stream. It doesn't show as well. But uh, in my Discord, I posted a couple of like close-ups of characters, what they look like. So what better, most are strange, yeah. It also shows much better how. All the swords actually have a different model for every sword, but there's only one armor texture for the characters. Also, the uh, cutscene, like the dialogue models, are much higher poly than the overworld models. makes sense because they're going to be seen at a bigger resolution anyway in a normal in normal gameplay and it would just slow down the game even more if you were to try and like have them at the high poly all the time like this game runs like ass if you don't have a dynamic recompiler on in your emulator which obviously a real DS doesn't have. Clone was a thing. Yeah, especially with this game, like more than three enemies and the game chugs to a halt. But with the with this emulator setting, we can clearly see many more entities at once. As proven by it taking longer to slow down after I do all of these summons at once. Also, love these ankle slicer things because, like, they're so pointless and make no sense. But they do do quite a bit of damage.
Also, you can see that the uh, everything like the effects when you hit an enemy are also 3D models and not just like a part of the overlay. As well as some other things like that particle effect, 3D model. It's a weird choice. Yeah. But well, because it's penetrating because it's very obvious how the game's uh, mixed dimension graphics work. Like it has a background layer, the, then it renders the 3D models, then it does the foreground layer. So anything you want to be like interactive with that is going to have to be 3D. Like it is interesting that they stored the images for the for the like world display at exactly the resolution needed to display them. Because they don't scale when you increase the scaling factor in the emulator. Anyway, I think that's where we leave it. Let me just check if any of my friends are alive for raiding. Oh, as usual, thank you everyone who's been here. It's been a wonderful stream. Shame we couldn't quite get a decent time. But uh, please follow if you haven't already. Subscribe if you think I deserve it. Join the Discord for all sorts of community stuff. Subscribe over on YouTube where we got highlights videos. If I can do all the things, give me all your money. I don't know what I'm saying. Don't give me all your money. Um, okay, hold on. Found someone to raid. Not exactly one of my friends, but it's another small... Uh, Oh, never mind, they're ending their stream. <laughs> okay, change of plans, we're not raiding anyone. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>